I'm starting a new project where I would like to get to the point where walks with my two very different dogs are comfortable for us in the neighborhood. And for us, the current split involves uh, having Dante go off leash and make sure that he is able to maintain his connection to me, his recalls, and uh, healing with me for a small period of time whenever I need him to pass a person or something like that. Later on, we will add the pony to our walks, ideally with having done some separate training sessions with her first. Uh, and yeah, there she is now. Yes, hello. Hello, hello, big horse. And Lily needs to stay home, and she's awake and doesn't want to, so she's going to get a little tasty frozen Kong. Yeah? Let's grab this leash. Stay here. Dante, come. Good boy, with me. With me. With me. Good boy. Okay, go. Go sniff. With me. With me. Good boy. Yes. With me. Pop up. Come. Okay, go. So we're having a slight problem in that he's ranging a little bit far in one direction and then in the other direction. He's still checking in, which is good. Dante, come! Still very snappy recall. Go ahead. If we weren't entering a park right now, I would put him right back on leash. To the forest! So I'm totally out of cookies now, which means that in order to, for us to head home nicely... Oh, look, a person. Dante, come! Dante, come! Good boy, call her! That means we will need to leash up. He's at the point right now in his training where I don't particularly trust him uh, if I don't have food to reinforce. So now we're just going to go back off leash, on leash. Let's go. Very exciting. There's something there that he's looking. Oh, there's a person with a dog. He does generally walk well on leash. Yes, you do, because you're a good boy. Unless there's like people or dogs. Mostly dogs. Good boy. We will eventually get to the point where I can re where I can trust him to maintain his composure without needing to have food on me. But since we're in remedial training, right now is not that time. I still want him to be a dog. When he is on leash, he shouldn't just be healing the whole time. So he's allowed to go forward, backward, I'll stop if he wants to sniff something. He's just not allowed to drag me around. 
And if he does want to drag me around, I will circle him. We had lots of successes with our recalls. He was a little bit too high throughout, so in the future I think I will need to make a little bit more use of treat scatters because sniffing calms down dogs and it works quite well for him. Uh, he spent too much time running quite far in one direction versus in the other direction, so in order to keep his radius a little bit smaller in our neighborhood, I think it's worth a try using a flexi next time. Uh, that'll give him a little bit more room to roam, uh, but also not as short as a leash, so he'll still have time to control himself. He had excellent responses to the dogs that we encountered. He looked and then he recalled. He never made any steps towards the dogs, which is excellent for him. I felt in control of his motions the entire time. He was very good in the forest and his leashed walk back was also quite excellent. Hello, Miss Lily. Yes, hi. Lily is a little bit uh, slow, a slow walker, so in order to prepare for adding her into our walks, uh, I will need to practice with Dante um, stopping at random intervals on leash because Lily likes to stop and sniff, uh, and he is not a big fan of that. He would prefer to keep going. Uh, so if he stops, if we practice stopping and reward the stopping, perhaps with a treat scatter, that will help us prepare for adding Lily into the routine, especially once we are leashed, either leashed or on the flexi. Overall, that went very well. I'm quite happy with, how, with that training session, and uh, we will have more in the future. Yeah.